6. Light of St. Mary. Spuggy quickly dropped the slip of paper in a nesting box. Baz didn't see. Welcome to the winning loft, laughed Baz. He was very cheerful. Perfect Lady's race time had been very fast. But I heard bad news at the club, he said. There was a bit of a storm on the line of flight. Seems like some of the leading birds were smashed down by it. Mebby's blue flash was among them. Bad luck. And he meant it. Then Baz saw the slip of paper in the nesting box. Daft bird, he said. What you pulled that off for? When Spuggy and Janie left Baz's place, Spuggy felt mixed up. He was still upset about Blue Flash, but excited about the second message. He and Janie looked at it. Then, as they went by a newspaper shop, Janie noticed a sign. Jesmond Paintings Stolen. Janie got a copy of the newspaper. A report on the front page said that valuable paintings had been stolen from a house in Jesmond. Janie and Spuggy looked at each other. Could the message, Jesmond, Cellar Man, 12 o'clock Monday, have something to do with it? There had been a burglary at Gosforth, and now one at Jesmond. And both those names were in the messages. But if Jesmond and Gosforth both stood for burglaries, what did Cellar Man mean? And Light of St. Mary. Back home, Spuggy found a stotty to help him think. Something else was puzzling him. I can see why a gold pendant's so valuable, he said to Janie. But what's so special about those paintings? They're old, said Janie. Well, replied Spuggy, that picture on the wall's old. I painted it last year. Janie shook her head. That's not valuable, she said. What is it, anyhow? A spaceship? What is it? said Spuggy. It's a lighthouse. The one at St. Mary's. <whistles> a pause. Then Janie cried out. St. Mary's Lighthouse! St. Mary's Lighthouse! Light of St. Mary! It's not a horse! It's a place! Quickly, they looked again at the Gosforth message. 4.30, Saturday. Today was Saturday. Away, said Spuggy. Let's get out there and see what we can see. They travelled on the metro as far as they could then walked the rest of the way to St. Mary's. The lighthouse was on a small island, attached to the land by a causeway. The tide was coming in, but Spuggy wouldn't wait. They went across to the island and started to look around. After a while, Spuggy came across some junk in a shed. Only it wasn't all junk. Janie! Come and look! Janie stared. Spuggy had found the Gosforth pendant. We'd better tell somebody, said Janie. 
But as they turned to leave the island, they found they had been cut off by the tide. There was nothing they could do but wait. And wait. They talked about the second message. Cellar man. Was it about a hiding place too? This time, it was Spuggy who had an idea. What about the cellars at Seaton Delaval Hall? We saw that man there. Maybe he was picking stuff up. Janey looked at him. So he could be there again on Monday, she said. Suddenly, they heard a truck. It was coming across the causeway. Spuggy and Janey scrambled out of sight, and watched as the driver went into the shed, and loaded the junk. Last to be brought out was the box with the Gosforth pendant in it. Then, Spuggy saw who the driver was. It was Dad. <laughs> Thank you.